making his very first appearance on this show. I'm sure it won't be his last. Got an individual style, a very funny young man. Will you welcome Andy Ford? Park yourself there. Thank you. Now I Tap. know. I, <laughs> I know you don't do a lot of this sort of thing. No. Are you? Uh, are you a bit nervous? Um, I am actually, Des. You probably won't realise this, and I don't even know if the audience will. But um, I'll tell you why I'm nervous. Underneath all these lovely clothes, right? I'm completely naked. <laughs> Stop it. I can't believe I said that. <laughs> From that accent, yes. I'm good with accents. I think that's West Country. Yes. West Country. Yeah. I'm from Devon, actually. Yeah. Look. <laughs> Stop it. Um, <laughs> um, a lovely place called Exeter, I expect you know it. Oh, I know it. It's great. We've got uh, electricity and everything now. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I lived there most of my life, and then one day um, I got on the wrong bus, and now I live in Oxfordshire. <laughs> 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 I want to go back to the accent in Devon. It's a lovely county. I right. spent some time down there. It's a nice place for a kid, for you to grow up in, I would have thought. Yes, well, I, I loved uh, my youth, but it was quite tough for me. I had terrible acne. Yeah, yeah. They don't call it that anymore. Do you know what kids call it now, Des? They I call do. it PFS. You can hear them in the playground. Don't go out with him, Mary. He's got PFS. Do you know what that is? Pizza face syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <he's... laughs> you weren't exactly a hit with the opposite sex, though? Well, my problem is, um, I don't want to do that. My problem is I'm very shy and I've only got one chat up line. And it, shall I do it? Please. All right. Um, it's a good one. So can I just ask all the men in the audience to hold on to the ladies because we don't want you to rush us, do we? <laughs> right, this is it. Hey, baby, I'm thrilled to bits to meet you. Easy. Um, I tried it out on one of your researchers, actually. That, stop it. That blonde lady, <laughs> as she was coming along the corridor, I thought, I'm going to chat her up. And I just started practising, I'm thrilled to bits to me. I'm thrilled to bits. And as she got up close, I jumped out. I said, hey, baby, I'm thrilled to. She was gone. I didn't even get a chance to get me bits out. <laughs> 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 You've got a very individual style, but you're not just a comic. You, you do impressions as well, don't you? Well, I'm not just a comedian, you're right. I actually um, do impressions, but I do animal impressions. I think you'll find they're very difficult to do. Yeah. And would you like me to do something now? Oh, I can't wait for you to do Thanks. animal impressions. Um, do you mind if I stand up for a second? Please, fly if you want. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to stand up for a second. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> <laughs> right, um, here's my impressions. This is the first impression. I just made that bit up. This is my first impression. <laughs> the mating call of the giant clam. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Do you know <laughs> Um, I'll do, can I do another one? Oh, please. All right, this is my second impression, and I call this one number two. <laughs> um, this is the North European lesser spotted woodpecker, and mm -hmm. um, there's the only woodpecker known to man um, what suffers from migraine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do it now. <laughs> oh, that's that now. <laughs> Do you ever relax? I mean, do you do any sport, football, golf? Do, I mean, do you relax? What do you do? Well, I, I tend not to relax too much, but um, I love to watch television. I am a TV addict. My name's Andy Ford, and I'm a TV addict. I just outed myself then. <laughs> anyway, there's been trouble in Teletubby Land. There has not. I'm going to tell you the truth. Tinky Winky's been involved in some hanky panky. <laughs> Dipsy's been arrested for not having a valid TV license. Uh oh. <laughs> Lala, I repeat, Lala has been adopted by a family that can't remember the words to songs, so that's quite good, isn't it? That's quite good spot. And, um, <laughs> I just made that one up. And Poe, po. Poe's being kept under the bed to be used only in emergencies. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm trying to think. I'm told, Andy. Sorry. It's all right, Andy. I'm told that you write poetry. Yeah. 
I, I only write poems about things that I really love, and uh, coincidentally and ironically, um, I brought a couple of them with me tonight. Right. right. This is my television remote control, um, which I love, and I've written a poem. I'm going to do it now in Joined Up. <laughs> you are the desired object. You're a joy for one to hold. It's a power thing where you're concerned. I praise your name, Manifold. Um, that means lots. That's nothing to do with car exhaust. <laughs> <clears throat> a wondrous array of buttons encased in voluptuous black. An infrared thingy at the front uh, and sod all at the back. <laughs> Everybody wants you. Grabbing, shoving, pushing. But when it all gets far too much, you hide behind my sofa cushion. I want to start. This is my garlic crusher. And you've and written a poem? Yes, I, lo I love it desperately. Look. Um, a poem so, about a garlic a crusher? Garlic crusher. I, I'm going to do this reggae. Reggae. <laughs> I've just been a comedian. Right. <laughs> you. I'm going to do it now. You, you're my garlic crusher. You flavour up my life. You saved me half an hour's chopping and all the stress and strife. <laughs> you, you're my garlic crusher. You aid my butter taste. I love to squeeze your handles. <laughs> and watch the garlic push through your face. <laughs> you, you're my garlic crusher. Lying in the drawer, waiting for me to take you out. But I don't mean to the cinema. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're my garlic crusher. You cost me £2.20. I realise with you around, my life is not so empty. You, you're my garlic crusher. <laughs>